One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. classic holiday tune, Jingle Bells in the key of G. I wanted to work on kind of a beginner arrangement to this that stayed really close to the melody. We're going to work on adding some pinches with our right hand to pop out the melody notes, and we're going to work on playing the melody and then rolling and kind of going back and forth. And that'll help the melody pop out while we still get some of that great banjo kind of rolling in the background. So here we go, I'm going to break down the whole thing note for note, and then show you a bunch of backup that'll work for Jingle Bells. Alright, here it is, in the key of G. Alright, so let's start breaking down this Jingle Bells in the key of G. Let me play the first three measures, and then I'll break it down. Let's do that twice more. faster. Okay, so let's start breaking down measure one. This is the intro before the verse. So we're going to start with the open third string with our thumb of our right hand. We're going to play that note. Then we're going to pinch the outside strings five and one with our thumb and middle finger of our right hand. And then we're going to do a backwards roll, middle finger on the first string, index finger third string, thumb fourth string. And then we need one more first string. So we're doing M, I, T, M there. All eighth notes. So the first two are quarter notes, so it's one, two, three, and four, and. So that's gonna set up the verse. So let's do that one more time. One, two, three, and four, and. Now here's measure two. We're going to hit the open four string, and this is going to be the start of the verse melody. And then we're going to do a bunch of pinches with our index and middle finger of our, of our right hand. This is going to be really common for this song, so let's just practice this on its own without the left hand for a second. So the main two pinches we're going to do is second string and first string, and third string and first string. So I'm doing each of those with my index and middle finger. I'm just moving just my index finger back and forth. So just get really familiar with that pattern because we're going to do that, that, those little pinches a lot in this song. So I'm just doing index and middle finger back and forth. Okay, so let's put that into measure two. So we're going to start with our thumb on the fourth string. This is the opening melody. And then we're going to pinch second string and first string. Then we're going to put our second finger of our left hand on the second fret of the third string and pinch those two notes, third string and first string. And then take your left hand off and pinch those two notes. So let's do that. They're all quarter notes, so don't do them too quick. So one, two, three, four, just on the downbeats. And the melody there is... So we're just adding that first string to fill it up. One more time, we're going to do that pattern a couple times in this song, so it's a good one to practice. Now measure three, we're going to hit the fourth string, open fourth string, and then do two forward rolls, five, three, one, five, three, one. Those are my strings, so I'm doing T-I-M with my right hand. Do that twice. So those are just filled notes, so our melody ends on that fourth string. So the melody of two and three is... And then we're filling it up with a roll after that. So it's. Okay, let's do one, two, and three. Here we go. One more time, a little faster. 
faster. Now measure four, we're gonna do those same pinches as we did in measure two, so exact same melody line. That's all the same. Okay, so now here's measure five. So we're gonna start with an open two hammer on the four string. So I did thumb index there, four string, second string. And then I'm gonna do thumb middle, third string, first string. So I did. Keep your right hand moving there. So you're pinching from measure four. And I like to put my first finger down right away. Use that as kind of your planting finger. And then we're gonna do fifth string open, third string open, and then land on the second fret four string for beat four. So that sounds like this, all measure five. Keep your right hand moving there until the end. And the melody there is actually just a long second string. So we're going. And we're just filling that up with a roll. One thing you can kind of notice about this arrangement is we're going from pinches to rolls, pinches to rolls. So we're doing pinches in measure two, roll in measure three, pinch in measure four, roll in measure five. I, th I kind of thought that's, that night had a nice contrast between the pinching, which really brings out the melody, and then the rolling, which has obviously kind of more of a banjo style. So I like to make sure those melody notes really pop out there. So when you're coming down from measure four, drop your, your first finger right on there. That'll help you get that hammer on. Let's do that one more time. I also like to kind of accent that uh, second fret four string at the end there. So here's measure six. Let me play it and then I'll break it down. One more time. So it's very similar to measure two, except different left hand notes, same right hand. So we're gonna start with that second fret four string and your left hand was already on that note. So we're gonna play that note. Your first finger's already on the first fret of the second string. We're gonna pinch those two notes, so first string and second string. And then take your left hand off, pinch open and open, first string and second string. And then you're gonna move your first finger down to the second fret of the third string and pinch third string and first string. And I'm using my first finger there because it's going to set me up to get into measure seven. So that sounds like this. And the melody there is. So kind of interesting. Look at what we did on our G chord. We did open. And then for the A minor, we did. So it's a very similar melody line. Every note is just up a whole step. So it kind of. We're, we're changing the melody to, to harmonize with that chord. So kind of a cool little melody idea there. We're going. So just moving up the notes up the scale and keeping our melody going there. So one more time, here's measure six. And then that's gonna set us up. And that's, I'm using my first finger here because we need to go into our D chord right there. So I'm using my first finger and then my third finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string. So it's easier to, to move on the A minor there and that sets me up to go to my D. So here's measure seven. You're gonna hit the fourth fret on the fourth string and then do kind of a, a little partial roll. You're gonna hit the first string and then a forward roll, uh, four, three, one. So you do middle and then a forward roll. And then we need one more fourth fret, fourth string. So that sounds like this. One, two, and three, and four. And the fourth fret, fourth string is the melody there. So accent that note. So here's six and seven together. Let's do that one more time. And the melody there again is. So let's put those together. Now here's measure eight. We're gonna.